Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Max. This is a picture, a drawing of Max and Penny holding hands. Very, very nice. I have such a nice collection from you, Max. I really appreciate those so much. Thank you. Well, this morning I have homework for you. Yes. Yeah, and you're going to like it because it involves eating. Ooh, yeah, that changed things, didn't it? Okay, so what I want to ask you about, do you remember Shrove Tuesday, right? And what do we eat on Shrove Tuesday? Pancakes. And the reason why we eat pancakes is because we're getting ready for what we don't eat during Lent. Now, Lent is right now, it's these days before Jesus was crucified. And so a lot of times now, people just don't eat what they normally might. Uh, Michael, aren't you giving something up for Lent? What are you giving up? You get, oh, <laughs> I thought you gave up chocolate. You changed. Oh. <laughs> All right, Michael gave up oranges. Uh, what about the rest? What did you give up for Lent? You gave up pizza. You did too? No? You gave up goldfish crackers. Is that right? Well, a lot of times what people then did was they gave up not just one food. They gave up meat. They gave up eggs. They gave up cream and sugar. And so that's why they had their pancakes, Shrove Tuesday, because they were getting rid of all of that before they start, started on a more a stricter diet. Well, long, long ago, there was a monk. And he was making bread, because bread was a very common food to eat during Lent. Only this wasn't the soft kind of bread. This was like bread sticks, OK? And this monk was a teacher. He was a teacher of, of children, like you. And one day, he decided that he was going to make his breadsticks into something that the children would recognize. Well, if someone says to you, bow your heads in prayer, what do you do? I bow my head in prayer. OK, how do you look? Can we see your posture? All right, now look at that. I see your, first you folded your hands, then you put your hands like that. All right, but long ago, that's not always been the posture for people praying. Children, and also I understand today, too, in the Catholic Church, uh, if you want to be blessed but you don't take the elements, you go up to front and you go like this. Can you do that? And you, pr that's right, that's right. Maybe it's God hugging you, do you think? That's a nice way to think about it. And you put your, uh, your hands like this, and you pray. So this monk got a very smart idea, and he said, I'm going to make these breadsticks into hugs. hugs. Yes. And he said, I'm going to give these to the children if they memorize their prayers. This is a legend. If they memorize their prayers. And can you see how this looks like a hug? Yeah. All right, take a good look. I'm going to. It does look like pretzels, yep. It just looks like plain, plain old pretzels. Well, look at this. Now can you see if you put this up here, that up here, does that look like the arms? There you go. Yeah, and this is your head. Yes. Well, the head isn't there, but uh, <laughs> like that. You're doing it exactly. And this, they had the three spaces, and that was to represent God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that, during Lent, when people ate pretzels, it made them think of prayer. So this is your homework. Each one of you, by the way, the word for pretzel was pretiolas in Italian. I haven't studied that, so I'm sure the accent isn't right. But that means little reward. Little reward, pretiolas. And so the monk gave them little rewards as they uh, memorized their prayers. So each of you is getting a packet of pretzels. And you're to look at this and be reminded of the posture. And I'm going to ask that you pray in the same form that the pretzels are in every day. And only eat one. Only eat one pretzel. Because, yeah, you're not sure if you can do that. The next day, you get to pick another one. And I'm going to ask you next week if you were able to make your pretzels last until Sunday. You think you can? 
Good. Do that, but use pretzel position, OK? All right? And then pretzel position. And then each time after you have a pretzel, uh, you know that you have received a little reward. This is from the, the monk. And you can say, thank you to God. And you can say, I'm sorry for those times when you feel like you did the wrong thing. All right? So let's bow our heads in prayer. That's good. All right, let's do that. We can still bow our heads and cross our arms. Dear God, you have reminded us that this is our time of Lent. This is the time when we are mindful of, of suffering, of, of Jesus' suffering, of what has been done for us. And it's also our time to think of what we can do for others, whether it involves suffering or not. But Lord, we ask especially that we take this time to draw close to you, drawing close and saying thank you for those things that have been gifts, and also for saying I'm sorry for those times when we feel we've disappointed not only you but ourselves. So I give you thanks for this day. I give you thanks for these pretzels. I give you thanks for these children. Amen. Amen. All right. <laughs>